A deputy is missing tonight after a boating mishap on the St. Johns River in Putnam County. The sheriff's office just held a news conference moments ago. That's where they just identified the missing deputy as 35 year old Brandy Smith. They say she's been with the sheriff's office since 2012. Reporter Chris Parento has been out there all day and has new developments on this day long search. Rescuers spent most of the day on the water in a search area that grew as the day went on. So they're dealing with water temperatures approximately uh, 65 to 68 degrees um, and zero visibility. So it is, it's, it's tough times. The water in this area is about 10 to 18 feet deep, but the current isn't that strong, according to the sheriff's office. When sonar scans picked something up on the bottom, divers went into the water, but so far, no signs of the deputy. Anytime you hit uh, an object in the water while in the water, it it's, presents itself in an unsafe manner. Investigators say the deputy and her boyfriend were on this 14 foot John boat with a small motor this morning around 4 30 when they hit one of the channel markers. The marker doesn't have a lit beacon on it, but is reflective. I asked officials if the boat had proper lighting and safety equipment, but they weren't ready to say. Anytime you're on the water, there's inherent risk that you would take, and you must have the proper equipment in your vessel. And we always try to st stress to our boaters here in the state of Florida to make sure that, that you pre-plan your trip, make sure you have these safety devices in your boat. Because the search was for one of their own, authorities had stress debriefing teams on hand to help the crews as they rotated off the water. Just to ensure that uh, they're holding up okay and that they're keeping their minds uh, in the job so that we can get the job done and uh, bring this deputy home. Investigators tell me they plan to be on the water tonight for as long as it's safe to have boats out there. If they do have to come off the water tonight, they plan on being back out here first thing tomorrow morning. In Putnam County, I'm Chris Parento, News 6.